Okay, welcome back to Real Estate from Daniel. My name is Daniel of Daniel and Associates Real Estate, and I do these videos to give you some information to help you prepare for whether you're buying or selling real estate. The topic I'm going to talk about today is if you're a senior and you're looking to sell your home in today's real estate market. For some of you, you've owned your home for 5, 10, 20, some, some of you even 30 years. And since you've actually sold a house or purchased a house, maybe you've never even sold a house. What's your very first step that you need to do? Well, the first step is to decide that you want to sell. Okay, And when you do that, you want to search and find yourself a real estate broker. I'm a real estate broker. I'm also a realtor. There's a difference between just being a real estate broker. I am also a member of the National uh, Association of Realtors, the Illinois State Association of Realtors, and the Main Street Organization of Realtors. And we subscribe to a code of ethics designed to make sure that we look out for your interests, whether you're a buyer or a seller. Now, as a senior, Boy, a lot of things have changed if you haven't bought or sold a home in 20, 30 years. And the world keeps evolving, as you are well aware. Uh, we're just going to address selling the home at this time because buying a home at the same time selling is a little bit more involved and complicated, but it can be handled if you have the services of a realtor. The most important thing you do before you go forward is to sit down and have a consultation, a good thorough conversation with the person that you're going to choose to represent you to make sure that they are aware of what your needs are, where you're at, and how give you some good guidance and direction as to how to move forward. One of the biggest challenges that uh, most seniors face when they're getting ready to sell a home in today's market is all the extra items that they own, okay? It's called stuff. Um, that could be a little bit challenging for, for all of us because do you really want to take it with you to the next place? Um, do your kids want it? No. Most of the time, if you have kids, kids don't want your stuff. They want you to have it, and then if you don't want it, throw it out. Get rid of it. Give it to somebody, maybe Goodwill or um, one of the other organizations that profit from uh, and put back the money into the communities, these resale shops, it's a good place to do that. So you can gain some taxable benefits from that too. But you probably don't want to take it with you. Um, I'm not going to address all the specifics here on what you're going to need to do, but start out by building, yes, you're going to build a team as well. Start out with getting a good realtor, and that realtor will guide you to a good attorney if you haven't used one in the past. Uh, a good real estate attorney, not somebody that does uh, injuries or somebody that handles uh, lawsuits. They may be professionals and focused on those uh, aspects of law, but you want a real estate broker that's going to guide you and make sure that you're protected interests when you sell, okay? Ask your realtor. They have a list of all the people that can help you out, including people possibly to do repairs and painting and carpeting, etc., helping you prepare to put your house on the market. Um, if you'd like more information, feel free to give us a call here at Daniel and Associates Real Estate. Any one of our associates would be glad to help you out. I'm always available for a consultation as well. Thanks again for listening. I hope you gained some information out of this, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.